Hey everyone and welcome to the learning for Wednesday if you're in A group or Thursday if you are in B group. I hope you're all having an excellent day. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, uh, first things first, do that attendance like normal and then go ahead and open up the Google Slides which will look like this. Okay, so you can go ahead and go through your notebook. Your vocabulary for today are the words advantage and disadvantage. Uh, we're going to be investigating the two sides of the Revolutionary War to compare and contrast their advantages and disadvantages. Shocking, I know. Uh, you're in for today. Who do you think had more adv advantages in the war? The British Army or the Colonial Army? And why do you think that? Okay. Um, if you are in A group, this will be the 23rd. If you're in B group, this will be the 24th of September. Um, go ahead, pause the video, and go ahead and do that notebook. Once you finish, go ahead and come on back. Welcome back. I hope you uh, had, were successful in writing down your notebook. We're going to go ahead and move on. So next, uh, you need to go ahead and set up a comparison chart in your notebook. Okay, You'll do a T chart just like this, draws a T. Um, you put the British Army on one side, the Colonial Army on the other, okay? And then I've kind of set up some examples. I'll talk about it when we get into what you're going to be reading for today, uh, but you'll be filling this out as you read, okay? All right, for the most of the work today, you're going to need to open up the Revolutionary War reading document, okay? Uh, you need to, sorry guys, you need to read the document and mark the text. Your guiding question you'll be marking the text according to today. It's also on the document, so don't worry if you forget. Um, it's what are the major differences between the British and American armies during the first half of the war. Okay? As, let me move myself out of the way. You read it. As you read, add information about the armies and the battles, okay, to your comparison charts in your notes. So if someone wins a battle, write down they won, and if the other person lost, put down they lost the battle. Okay? Uh, if you learn about a particular advantage one army has, go ahead and put that down uh, on your T-chart. So if we go back a slide, see if that's, I can even do that. Okay? So, like, if you look here, Britain's, one of its advantages was it had a much larger population than the colonists, okay? Um, and then you can see here, um, so as you can see right here that um, the colonists lost a battle, the British won that battle. They defeated them on Manhattan Island, okay? So keep kind of doing the same thing. You can see over here with the Colonial Army, I put down an advantage for you. They were fighting on their own land, okay? That sort of stuff. Um, go ahead, keep adding to this as you read. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So... You're going to be working on a document called the Revolutionary War Reading Document. It's attached in Google Classroom. I'll show it to you guys in just a second. All right. Make sure you read the document and mark the text according to the guiding question. Don't worry. The guiding question is also listed on the document itself. Okay. But the question for today is what are the major differences between the British and American armies during the first half of the war? Okay. As you read, add information about the armies and battles to your comparison chart in your notes. That's T-chart. In your notes that we drew, go ahead and make sure you're adding things as you go. And then there is a short multiple choice reading quiz after you finish the reading. Go ahead and do that. You may use the reading and your notes as you do that. Okay? All right. And lastly, go ahead and do your out for the day. Okay. Let's take a look at that reading. Go into Google Classroom here. Okay. I'll be right down here. Since the Revolutionary War, it'll probably have your name in front of it. Go ahead and click on it. And go ahead and click Annotate with Cami. It'll pop up. A couple of things. You're marking the text instructions are right here off to the left. Okay. They are all your guiding question is also over here. Go ahead and read, mark the text. It's a little longer than normal, but I went ahead and read through it numbered all your paragraphs for you, so it should not take you very long. I believe in you. You guys are going to rock this, so please keep it up. You're going to rock it. Have a fantastic job. Okay, make sure you are taking notes in that T-chart that you have in your notebook as you go along. Okay? After you've done that, go ahead and go back into Google Classroom and open up the reading quiz. Um, 
Okay, I need to unlock that for you. I will have it unlocked. Sorry about that, everyone. The quiz is now unlocked, so if you're not using a Chromebook, you can access it. Okay, make sure you put your first and last name. That'll let me know exactly who you are, because it turns out some people share first names with other people. Shocking, I know. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and read through your questions. Your first question is, which of the following beliefs about the length of war is most accurate? Okay, about how long the war would be. Which of the following are advantages of the British during the war? Okay, what are some advantages I should put for the British? Okay, I'll go ahead and fix that. Um, what are the following advantages for the colonists during the war? Oh, make sure you select all that apply. Okay, you can select more than one and so forth. Those are not the correct answers. I was just demonstrating for you. Okay, uh, which of the following statements is most accurate about the colony's feelings? About a strong national government. There is a section in the reading that talks explicitly about the strong national government. I should say specifically, not explicitly. It doesn't curse at you. Uh, and then lastly, which of the following colonies did not, not, okay, keyword not there, did not allow African Americans to fight in the war? All but one of the colonies allowed African Americans to fight in the war. Okay, after you complete the quiz, once again, Go ahead and do the out, um, and then you are done for the day. Great job. Way to go, guys. Glad you were able to finish it. Uh, as always, thank you for listening and for doing the instructions and doing an awesome job and working hard. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you tomorrow.